Yo, in this video, I try and learn to play the harp in just seven days and then hopefully at the end make some beats with what I've learned. Ever since I started making beats, I've been trying to learn new instruments and just better myself as a producer. I tried a bit of the piano, I tried a bit of guitar, but I thought let's try something a little bit different, something a bit more challenging that nobody ever plays. Let's try the harp. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but the harp to me just sounds... It sounds incredible, it sounds amazing. So here's the plan. Every day for the next week, I'm gonna be taking a one hour lesson with one of the best harpists that I know, Bianca, who you may remember from a video that we did maybe like six months ago where she pulled up to the studio and we made some beats. I'm gonna be doing a lesson with her every day and hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, by the end of it, we can become one with the harp or just hopefully somewhat be able to play it and make some beats. Let's get into it. Day number one. Right now, I'm on the way to my first harp lesson. I feel like it's gonna be a really hard challenge. I'm excited to see how far we can take it within this this week. I just arrived and we're with Bianca. She's gonna be teaching me for the whole week. Hello. Let's go. So I was super excited for the first lesson. Never played the harp before. And to me, it just looks like an intriguing instrument. Now look how big this instrument looks. It kind of just takes up the room. Like when you come into a room and you see a harp, you can't ignore it. Yeah, you want to be quite far forwards on the seat. And then, so the harp tips, yeah, on that shoulder. And you want oh. to hold the weight with your knees. So you should be able to lean like back and forwards and the harp shouldn't move at all. If I hold the harp here, I can like move and the harp should stay perfectly still. So in this first one, we mainly went over the fundamentals like your hand position, making sure your elbow's up, making sure your finger's down, your thumb is there. And when you play, like you put your fingers and stuff in a particular way you pluck in a certain way to get like a really full sound just the foundations down once your foundations is good that's when you can start to like move on and learn how to play songs and stuff properly but just like any other instrument the foundation comes first but then i'm not gonna lie bianca fooled me a bit of a curveball and we started playing pieces straight from the beginning since this is a seven day challenge and we kind of just have to speed up the process a little bit. Let's try, let's do the first two bars today. How do you think the first lesson went? Do I have any hope? <laughs> I think you're a natural. I think you're gonna be a harpist in no time. Hey, come on. <laughs> day two was just really a continuation from day one. Really honing in on the foundations, making sure that my hand position more or less is as good as it could be starting out. Trying to make it as perfect as possible. Finger down, thumb up. Yeah, one more thing on that hand. Elbow yeah. up. Yeah, nailed this it. Thumb in it. Yeah. That's like the model harpist position. I feel like sometimes playing an instrument, there's a lot going on, especially like you're reading, you got to play, you got to make sure your sound is good and you got to play with rhythm. It's a madness, but yeah. Day two was just a continuation of number one. I forgot my main camera, so I'm using an iPhone, but I just finished my second harp lesson. And I think I might be getting just a tiny, just a tiny, tiny bit better. It's actually quite fun. Day three, I was starting to feel a little bit more confident, starting to enjoy it a bit more because the foundations and stuff can get a bit boring, but you kind of have to do that so you can move on. Like, what's the saying? You can't run before you can walk. That is the saying. So we're trying to learn how to crawl, then walk, then run. We got to do it. We got to do it in order. But then we did start to get a bit more technical, playing with two hands together. And then also, instead of just playing with two fingers now, we started to throw the third finger in the mix, the fourth finger in the mix, and using the whole hand to play songs above it put four on there with your right hand and then your right this thumb should be higher than these fingers excellent and then you just pluck them one by one starting at the bottom cool so it's starting to get a bit more difficult a bit more challenging but just slowly up in the levels. Plus again, reading the sheet music and I'm not the fastest reader when it comes to reading the sheet music. Sometimes I'm still doing the translation in my head where I'm looking at the note and then I'm following the basic rhymes like all cows eat grass. A, C, E, G, G, bang, then I can play it. Sometimes it takes me a little while. No, 
day four, I'm definitely getting a little bit more confident with the harp, you know, playing with two hands now, like I've graduated from one hand and playing with two hands now. But I was also really trying to just stay conscious of the fundamentals, making sure that my whole posture, my whole style of play is proper, making sure I'm plucking in the right way. Just making sure that my foundations and fundamentals are straight. Day five. Okay, so I kind of messed up the challenge here. My lesson was at 10 a.m. in the morning. I went to bed super late because I was editing. I went to bed at like four, set my alarm at nine. Thing is, I woke up at 9 a.m., looked at my phone and thought, ah, let me snooze this for five more minutes. Snoozed it. Then I woke up and I was like, yeah, okay, five minutes is done. Looked at my phone and it was ready 11, way past way past the lesson so i ended up missing day five we had to push it back a day so officially day number five i actually felt really good in this lesson i felt like the day that i had off kind of just helped me step back unconsciously taking everything i learned and then come back fresh it's like i locked in some gains or something like the recovery just helped me build muscle or something i don't know i was starting to play the pieces that i was learning almost all the way through with hardly any mistakes, which is like a massive, massive improvement from day one. And then day six, the worst thing happened. Right now, I'm super, super ill. I tested positive for that for that virus. So on day six, I tested positive for the Rona, which kind of just threw the challenge out of the window. Can't lie, I felt completely out of it. I was feeling mad ill, like one of the worst ills I've ever felt. I had to just rest for like three or four days straight. I couldn't do anything. I just stayed in bed, rested up. We're gonna finish this challenge, even though I didn't get to do the whole full seven days. We got to day five, but we're still gonna finish up the challenge. I got my little mini harp set up right here. It's been about four, actually no, it's been five days since I've played the harp. So rather than trying to remember a piece that I was learning, I'm just gonna freestyle and try and find a melody and then add some drums on top of that. Yo, before we get into making beats, I just wanna say a huge thank you to DistroKid, as always, for sponsoring the video. So if you don't know about DistroKid, it's a place where you can upload your music and they'll distribute it to all the major streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple, Tidal. One of the reasons why I love DistroKid, why DistroKid is my go-to platform whenever I'm releasing music, they make it really, really easy to do splits and they collect royalties on your behalf without taking any cuts. So let's say I release some music with my brother. He's the artist, I'm the producer. We can go into DistroKid, assign the percentages of how much each collaborator is meant to get and then they'll distribute the royalties and send it straight to us without any hassle, without any management on my behalf. So go ahead, sign up for DistroKid. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Go check it out. Let's get back to the video. I'm just gonna put a little bit of reverb on it. Oof, that sounds way better already. All right, that's gonna be like the foundation, I think. But I'm still gonna just try and find, see if I can find maybe like some accent notes or something. There's a little piece that I want in here. It's just like a na 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 na. Na 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 na, right there. I think I'm gonna just keep the melody like that, kind of simple, not too much going on, and just add some drums on top of it.
All right, finished up the beat. Got a little bop right here. Try to give it a bit of a different bounce by leaving out that clap. Tons of room for some vocals as well. But yeah, big thank you to Bianca for helping me learn the harp. Tried to learn the harp in seven days, really only did five lessons. Or you could technically say I took longer to complete the challenge because when I did the last final beat, that was like nine days later nine days after my first lesson. But let me know in the comments below which instrument should I try next. And I challenge you to learn an instrument in seven days or in a lifetime, it's up to you.